Okay guys, so this is pretty much what I've been going for so far and as I said, as soon as I've made all the additions, I will start adding the drawer faces. Next, I want to add a drill bit storage and organize the unit to the center over here for all the odd bits I've got laying around my shop. Like this 6mm or quarter inch auger bit which I bought for a specific project, I only have one of them and it would be nice to be able to store and organize things like this. Now, because I'm not always drilling around my workshop, sometimes I'm working around my house or not even at my house, it would be nice to be able to remove this unit and carry it with me like a case. Okay guys, so this is pretty much what my little removable drill bit storage and organizer box is going to look like. I still need to add a handle to the top to move it around more comfortably, but I'll get to that in a moment. Now the drill bit storage and organizer trays are going to look like this. I'll show you how I made this in a moment or how I'm going to make the rest. But first I need to cut slots on the inside of this unit for these to slide into. Right, so the base of my drawer is a piece of 6mm or quarter inch MDF. So the slots in the unit need to be the same thickness. And they obviously need to be created with a uniform spacing. To do this, I made up this jig using some off-cut MDF. And what I did was I made a slot using my router table, a quarter inch or 6mm slot. And then I cut a piece of 6mm MDF and I glued it in the slot like that with it protruding slightly this will be my guide when i'm creating my slots in the unit now to make this an extension of my current router table i made these two holes over here so i can fix it to the slots on my router table and then obviously for the router bit to protrude i made this hole over here Now for the jig to work I need to cut the slot at the bottom for the bottom drawer using my current router setup. After that I'm going to use the jig to space the remaining slots evenly. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the slot I created with my normal router setup and using my jig and this piece I'm going to guide it through the router bit like this. Once I've created this slot I can move over one and feed it through again and like this I will ensure that the spacing between all the slots is the same.
Alright, so with the box glued up, I can get started on the remainder of the drawers. Now the drawer consists out of two basic components, it's the MDF part and the plywood part. And the MDF is obviously slightly wider than the plywood so I can fit into the slots I cut in the box. Now to make the cutouts in the plywood, I made up this template once again using MDF and how I made it was to drill a series of holes I marked out and drilled and remove these segments in between with my jigsaw. I can now stick this over the remaining drawers plywood and remove the bulk of the cutout with my jigsaw. Then to copy it exactly, finish it off by tracing it with a flush trim bit on my router. Right, so before I glue the MDF component on there, there's just one small step remaining which is adding a small chamfer around the top just to tidy it up. Right 
right guys that's all the storage units installed in the front of the stand and next I'm going to make the draw faces and I'm using MDF because I like the smooth finish and I don't really need a very robust material. I also want to reserve the option to paint it if I decide to but at this stage I'm not 100% sure just yet. Right, so that's most of the draw faces installed and as you can see I'm going for a cleaner look by not adding handles. Instead I'm going to be using push to opens. Now I did add these to my Amazon affiliate storefront so if you wanted to check out price and availability you can check the link in the description of this video. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for the drawers and I like the idea that I went with the push to open option. It keeps everything nice and clean. Now normally I would add a chamfer around the outside here. This time I went for a rounded edge which I obviously added with my router and I think it works. It works a bit better. Now I still need to add the draw faces for the drill bit storage or the removable drill bit storage and I can't use a push to open because there's, there's no space. So instead I need to improvise some kind of draw handle. Okay, so for the small draw handles, I used a concept or an idea that I've used before with my sander and sandpaper storage and organizer unit, which is, is very simple. It's pretty much just a bolt that I secure with a nut and I cap it with one of these rounded nuts. I'm not exactly sure what they are called, but it's simple enough and it works.
Right, so that's pretty much the drill bit storage and organizer drawers and I think they turned out quite nicely. Now, as I mentioned, I want it to be a on-the-go unit, so I need a way to remove it from the drill press stand. And to do that, I'm going to add another push to open. Right, so that's pretty much what I was going for. I still want to add magnets to the drawers to keep them closed, but unfortunately I couldn't source them by the time I started this project. So I'll just add them later. Next, I'm going to add the handle to the top of the drill bit storage because like I said, I want to be able to use it on the go and then finish off the front of the unit by adding trim pieces around the top of here. Alright guys, so this is pretty much what the handle is going to look like. It is obviously not ideal. I would have preferred a store-bought handle, but unfortunately, once again, I couldn't source one in time, so I need to make do. Now, the handle itself is just a piece of half-inch or 12 mm plywood that I drilled two holes and then once again removed the segment in between with my jigsaw. I then fixed a piece of piano hinge and this will now be attached to the top of the box like this and the reason for the hinge is obviously because I need to fold the handle flat so I can put the box in the unit. Okay guys, so that's pretty much the front of the stand completely finished. Now I did want to add the pull-up drawer that's going to be installed over here in this video as well, but unfortunately I've run out of time, so I will jump on that real soon. Then just a quick update on my saw restoration project. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering or asking about it. The handles are currently away for machining and the rest of the saw is going to go for sandblasting in the next couple of weeks to remove all the old paint. Then, once I get it back, I've decided to send the cast iron housing away for repair. I don't want to risk trying to repair it myself and damaging it any further because I'm not going to be able to get my hands on another one. Once I get everything back, I can start painting and reassembling the saw. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see me finish up my drill press stand by adding the pull-up draw or the drill press bed or table, remember to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, cheers.